Hello everyone. Today I want to get some harvesting done on the plot. I filmed my truck up um, for the veg for the next few days, going into next week, so I don't have to worry too much about picking. I can just come down and get on with some work. Already got some pink fur aliens, I mean pink fur apples. I call them aliens when you're getting potatoes out like this. Tremendous. Already got some of those. I'm taking them home today. I've got another bucket full of them in there, but... This is the take home drug, <laughs> the takeaway. <laughs> They'll have to get some food in there. First up, I'll just shimmy down here and grab some corn. There we go, that'll do. Little wood lice on there. We're taking a few of these literally every couple of days at the minute because it's uh, mostly red hard, <laughs> it's so nice. Also want a few carrots. These have been good this year, very pleased with these. go yeah no sign of carrot fly so very very happy with them want some more carrots though <laughs> I just want purple ones as well I'm greedy and these have been really nice I took a took a big load of um, tomatoes home the other day and uh, decided to make a soup from it and as part of the base of the soup I used some of these purple carrots which gave me a nice dark colour to the soup so it just looks more appealing and, and these carrots they're so sweet it's, it's amazing so there we go I think I've left more in the ground than I pulled, but still we've got a harvest, so happy with that. And the rest of this carrot here will be going in boxes in my shed at home. I'll store them in sand over the winter, so it'll take me up for the next couple of months. I'm going to harvest all this this week. There should be a fair few carrots in there. Brilliant. So let's have a look and see if we've got any turnips. There's a couple of little ones, I think. Just add them to the mix. There we go. That will do. Also want to grab some peppers as well. These are lunchbox peppers. Uh, denotes their size these are quite delicious although I did think on the last batch I picked that um, they were a little bit tough on the skin we will see how these go and this one here is Etiuda orange I think that plant's just about finished these are really nice I've been enjoying these the vibrancy of the color of them are just gorgeous so yeah, it's kind of a colour theme going on there. I don't know if there's any on this one behind. I think that's the one I picked last week. There's a few red lunchbox peppers there. Not many left on those now. Now these can come out, I think, this week. Yeah, happy with them. We'll add some fresh tomatoes to that as well, I think. I've got some of these Barry's Crazy Cherry ripening down there. I've had a few ripe ones off and I quite like the taste. But anyway, we'll leave those a bit longer. There's a, f a few here amongst the Crimson Crush that can come off. <laughs> you can see the grapes behind there doing... I'm taking some of them today. But um, yeah, there's a few in there as well. So we'll get some of these off now. But these um, are my Ildi, <laughs> you can see. I've just been taking sort of 
a couple of handfuls home a day really put them in a bowl on the side in the kitchen and we've been eating them like sweets so i'm actually going to cut the whole trusses off today of what's left and just take them home as is because they'll hang up and they'll they'll hold on the actual truss if we just hang them up so then we can pick them fresh at home and i can get rid of these plants here because these are done now these tomatoes at the end these are my jersey devils and these have been quite the revelation for me because i've never grown them before and uh, they've grown very well and fruited well but the thing that's been really amazing is when you cut them up there's very few seeds very little liquid shall we say it's mostly meat which is kind of a funny term for a tomato but it's it's all flesh in there and absolutely fantastic tomato so i think they're on my list for next year again so this is one of two chili plants I've got. I've got this one here and one in the newer tunnel at the back. And the variety is Anaheim. It's a very, very mild chili because I'm not a great lover of chilies. And I'm also not a great grower of chilies. I don't I don't eat them, so I don't normally grow them, but I'm trying to get myself into it because I want eventually to be able to taste that fruity flavour you get from chilies. So I'm trying with it. And I've got chilies on here, you can see here, some long ones. There are some ripe ones on there uh, somewhere that I could take. But they're all very long and pointy on this one. Whereas on the plant I've got in the other tunnel, they're about a third of the size. They're sort of short and plump. So I don't really understand or know anything about that. So if anyone's got any information why that would happen between two different plants, of the same variety just grown in two different locations i would be very very interesting but all in all i think that plant looks very good and the other one's much the same probably a little bit taller all in all i'm happy and looking forward to the challenge ahead of actually eating them <laughs> so down here on this tomato plant this is black strawberry um i mean Hopefully you can see that. The colours on this are fantastic and very, very unique and different. Um, very pleased with them. I have found the skins on these a little bit thick, but I do think they're an ideal sort of um, salad variety of tomato, uh, rather than for making sauces or cooking with. Um, so I'll take a few of these home, add these to the basket as well today. Quite nice. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Oh, I'll have that one as well. There we go, a little handful of them. But the colours, just amazing. One more thing I can't ignore any longer is taking that. Oh my God. That is amazing. So, I'm taking that home today. <laughs> So I'm really happy with that. That's, that's my harvest for today. The pink fur aliens or the pink fur apples, some sweet corn, some turnips, orange carrots, purple carrots, the yieldy bunches, which I'll hang up at home, the Etiuda orange peppers, the lunchbox peppers, black strawberries and tomatoes, Jersey devil tomatoes, crimson crush in there as well. And what else? Oh yeah, those babies. A lovely bunch of grapes and we'll eat them tonight watching the TV. So that's it for today. Look after yourselves everyone. Please stay safe. I'll see you all very soon. I am in pig heaven. <laughs>